Hello everybody and welcome to the channel, it's Polyester here, and this is my second YouTube channel called Polly Pops, where I make videos about my hobby of collecting these Funko Pop figures you see here behind me. And well today we got not one, not two, but three boxes from Funko. Now you may be saying, but Polly, you're always telling us that Funko doesn't deliver to Canada. Well... They do make an exception if it happens to be for their digital pops part of the NFT line here. And we got three different boxes. These they will ship to Canada. This one is a six pack, so there's six figures in there. Three in this one, and this one's a four pack. So they're all different size boxes. We'll open them up one at a time here. And this is like the first time that I really bought packs of these digital cards from Funko. This goes back to October 4, 2022. So what are we looking at here? Uh, 10 month, 10 month turnaround from the time that I bought the packs until delivery of the product basically, right? So these were the Game of Thrones Funko um, NFT cards here. And I went pretty strong on this. I got a lot of um, redeemables here. And uh, the reason I was able to get them is because they made a significant amount of packs. I guess maybe DC Series 2 was the, the first time I, I bought packs. This is probably the second time. Other times I got shut out and I wasn't able to buy any. They just sold out because the print runs were so small. Oh, there's a tiny little spider right here. You see that? Probably not. Can you see the spider? Oh, yeah. See the spider? <laughs> okay, go be free, little tiny spider. All right. Anyway, so, <laughs> so uh, this one, they made 31,000 standard packs and 31,000 premium packs. They stayed available for a long time. I think they did sell out. Pretty sure they did sell out, but there was more than enough to go around. So I was able to get as many packs as I wanted, and I wound up getting a few redeemables. So we're going to go ahead and open these up and see what we got. And I also have my hard cases here. Remember, I was ordering those cases from pophardcase.ca so i'm going to be ready to put all of these in cases straight from the box so hopefully they came in good shape we do have a couple of dings here like this hopefully that's not gonna have affected anything on the inside knock wood so here we go let's see what we got we're gonna open up the six pack first um they wound up shipping in three different boxes even though I ordered everything at once, which is okay. I think that's better. Uh, fewer shipments, smaller boxes probably would be less damage. Fingers crossed. All right, so this is the six pack. So these are those sorters that they have that hold three and they open with the hinge system with all these tabs and they just open up like this. We'll see what we got in here. So uh, let's go ahead and separate the two three packs like this. And we'll open them up one at a time. We'll just cast all the cardboard to the side. Okay, so first thing we got in here is the, the what they call the royalty piece. Now, this is the thing that you got if you collected the entire set of cards. You were eligible to get what they call a royalty. And for one, some reason or another, normally the royalties are related to the mascot, Freddy Funko, but these weren't. The royalty this time was Jon Snow as a wildling. And you see it says here that it's 4,500 pieces, but that was the maximum amount of sets that could be completed if all of the cards were put perfectly into sets, which is, you know, near impossible. There's some packs that didn't even get opened. So the actual redemption number on this is much less than what the sticker would suggest. The statistics that Funko gave us, they said that uh, about a third of these were not redeemed. Uh, only 3,155 of these were actually made. So the sticker doesn't tell the whole tale. It's more like a out of 3,000 count here. So that's Jon Snow. And that's the card you got if you completed the whole set for the royalty, which would give you the token you could redeem to get this pop here. Jon Snow as a wildling. That looks pretty great. So I was able to put together multiple sets. Let's go ahead and put this in here right now. In the Protecto popcardcase.ca. These are, uh, I think these are about 100 US on eBay. So none of these are, are gonna be cheap. So I wanna make sure 
that we're protecting all these. They're all going to be around $75 to $100 or more US, so they all need to be protected. There's another John Snow the same way. Got another case here that can reach it easy. Yeah. I'm honestly a little surprised these aren't more, but you know, the economy being the way that it is, uh, I think the whole Funko market is soft on the whole. So who knows? Maybe these will bounce back in the future. Uh, obviously, Game of Thrones is over, so uh, I don't know how much interest there is in that, but it's always going to be a fan favorite show. So <laughs> I don't mind having extras of those. All right, next figure we got here. We'll just cast this aside. Whee! This is Jamie Lannister with the gold hand. This is what they call the legendary one that you get about a one and a half percent chance to pull the card that'll give you this pop out of the pack. And uh, again, it says there were 2,700 of these available, but only 2,585 of these were redeemed. Pretty close to the full run, but not quite the whole run let me see if i actually click it will tell me the odds on these um 1.73 percent chance to to pull that one all right so we're going to set him aside here and we'll get into the next three pack okay we got another jamie lannister here Everything's coming in good shape so far, touch wood. Another Jamie Lannister. And we got another Jon Snow. That's three Jon Snow. That might be all my Jon Snows. I remember I gave my friend Womps one of the Jon Snows. I had it sent direct to his house. And then we got this one here, the Master of the Skies. Wow, that's really nice with the the uh, streaks in his hair there. The Jochen Hagar, Jochen Hagar with mask oh yeah he's got he's got a mask in his hand there it looks like he's holding somebody's face the master of disguise when he pulled off the face jock and hagar and this says again out of 2700 this was a legendary with a 1.73 percent chance of pulling this out of a a pack or i guess it's any card any card has a 1.73 percent chance of being a uh, legendary and only 2,570 of these were made. The, the legendaries are, uh, are pretty close to the full run. The royalties are much more difficult because, you know, you have to get the whole set assembled. So the legend, uh, the royalty, sorry, the royalty is never going to be close to the entire run. Okay, so that's the six pack done. Now I'm going to finagle this here. And, oh, box avalanche. And we're gonna open up the, we do the three pack or the four pack first? Yes, let's do the, the four pack. Save the three pack for last. Four pack. So these should have those sorters in it again, but these will be the, the ones that hold two at a time, like this. And we'll throw this to the side. I think it's recycle day. I gotta get this cardboard cut down and out the door. We got a lot of boxes around here. Okay, so here we go. Doop, 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 doop. I didn't like these at first. I much preferred the sorters, but I don't mind these now. They've grown on me. All right, so we got another Jock and Hagar here. Sticker's coming up a little bit on the edges. Gotta push that down better. Jock and Hagar here again. And this one's a new one. We can put it in this box here. The Hound. This is the Hound. And he's also same percentage chance, 1.73% chance out of 2,700. But the actual amount redeemed was 2,563. And the big complaint I see about this one is that the shaft on his club here isn't painted correctly for some reason it's red 
on the figure, red chap. But they're all like that. Instead of the brown, they show brown here on the sample and on the card. That ain't brown. That's red. But apparently they're all like that. It isn't an error or anything. So somebody on the colorway, when they got the, the uh, schematic for paint, screwed up. But they're all like that, so what are you going to do? So there you go. That's the Hound from Beyond the Wall. And... I think I have two of the Hound as well. Must be in the last box. Okay, so this is the many face Arya Stark. So this is where she's under the tutelage of Jock and Hagar, and he's teaching her the ways of disguise. Many faced Arya. See here she is. Here she is in the hall with all of the faces behind her for uh, disguises that are available. Many faced Arya Stark out of twenty seven hundred. Same percentage chance. And this one, 2,564 were redeemed for that one. So, again, pretty close to the full amount. Almost the entire full amount. There's always some that are just locked in packs that are never opened or people forget to redeem. And you're never going to have the entire amount redeemed. All right, so here we go. This is the three pack, three more to go. So I had, what, 13 figures all together that I got from them. 14, but I gave one to Womps, right? So I know what one of the figures did is in here. I think there's a second hound in here. I'm pretty sure I had two of most of the, of all the legendaries, yeah? Yeah. So here's another hound. And again, you know, not painted. So they're all like that. Not painted shaft on the, the club. The hound from Beyond the Wall. And then there's another many-faced Arya Stark there. And then finally, this is the big heavy hitter from the set. This is one that I'm going to need to put in a pop armor right away. This is the da Daenerys Targaryen with egg. And this is what they call the Grail. This is uh, out of $9.99. And this one you had a point. One six percent chance to pull, and I pulled it out of a pack. This this piece is going for like four hundred US all day long. So yeah, I definitely need to put this one in a pop armor right away. And the sticker says it's out of nine hundred ninety nine, but there were thirty three of them that never got made. Thirty three souls never got made. So it's, the true amount is nine sixty six. So yeah, that's pretty darn beautiful, and I'm gonna have to put this straight away in a pop armor because that's an expansive piece i'm glad that i pulled it because i would never spend that kind of money to get this which uh you know i don't know maybe i did spend that kind of money to get it on packs i don't remember what i bought in packs but uh being able to pull this is a uh, a great great pull out of the packs and it looks great all right so i'm gonna go ahead and put all these in those pop heart cases and get them up on the shelf and cut down all this cardboard. That's all I have to show you today. It's curious that this arrived before my um, my Looney Tunes ones did because the Looney Tunes were supposed to have been shipped out two weeks earlier than this. So I hope that's not a bad sign. But hopefully Looney Tunes will be here any day and we can show you what those look like. I got shut out on Looney Tunes packs. I wasn't able to get any of those. So um I bought a couple of the cards on the aftermarket at reasonable prices, and I only have a couple of those, but we'll still show you those. Nothing big like uh, this Game of Thrones set here. That's all I have to show you today. Thank you so very much for watching. As always, I appreciate the time you spend here with me on my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.